Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cracks at Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me, Priyasha Das, and I'm up with the third episode of Blitz Brigade, where we'll be taking the part one of DILR. I know Fridays are getting spoiled by DILR, but I'm so sorry, nothing to be helped with. Now, what we are going to do today is a rounds related set, guys. But before I get started with the video, I want to remind you three things, especially for the DILR sets. Number one, DILR cannot be cracked in one day. So remember this, it needs a practice, everyday practice. So whatever days are left for your entrance examination, please make sure that every single day, at least one set is what I expect from you. So please practice DILR every day. Second important thing is that the QRS is already available. The link is provided in the description box. Please refer to it. And there are a couple of videos on DILR present already on my channel which will help you clear your basics. So please work on that before you jump to these real level questions. And the third and the most important thing is that DILR, as I said, cannot be cracked in a day. So what will you do if you get really disappointed in the beginning where you're not able to crack the questions? In that case, the first thing which you should do is the two is to one rule. That means read the solutions of two questions, understand what is the logic behind it, and then move on to do the one question by your own self okay so do it on your own and two questions read the solutions and do the calculations now when i say read the solutions one very important aspect due to which 90 percent of the people fail in the dilr section is they don't calculate on their own when i say look at the solution i never say that don't do your calculations take your own paper and pen and get started guys and this is what i expect from you people in this video also so i'm keeping the question on the screen take a screenshot of the set and then i'll sliding down to show you the questions also take a screenshot of the questions also give yourself five minutes try to break the question and if you are not able to do that watch the solution but my serious recommendation is that after watching the solution you will keep your pen and paper with you so that whatever calculations i'm asking you to do like dividing multiplying adding subtracting please do it on your own manually now when you do this manually the fear of calculation goes away and you literally are in a stage where you are ready to calculate and happy to calculate. So, you have to stage par lana hai where you are ready to calculate and happy to calculate. If you do that, you will see that 70% of the barrier coming your way while solving a DILR question will be done. So, let's get started with this question, everyone. I hope you all have read it. So, I'm going to start with the solution of this question. All the very best. Please see the solution and try to adapt some good things which you find here. Now, there are four friends here and there are four rounds here, okay? At the end of every round, the numbers are changing. But one important thing given to us is that at the end, that is at the end of round four, everyone will be left with 1,024 rupees. This is something interesting. Or here it's, uh, yeah, 1,024 rupees is the last amount with which all of them will be left at the end of the round four. Now, this will help me to make a table for it. So, what I'll be doing is, I'll be making a table. But before that, let us find out the other important things from the set. The other important thing is that whoever is ranked 1, his value will get 4 times the previous value. Whoever is ranked 2, his value will get doubled. And whoever is ranked 3, the rank value and the amount value will remain the same. And whosoever values is rank 4, they will lose the amount which was gained by the rank 1 and the rank 2. So this is the most interesting part of the question. And here people are getting So I said starting, mein kaha tha, keep your pen and paper ready. I'm going to give you the logic, but the calculation needs to be done by you. Only when we do it together like this, aapka results mein, mein kuch improvement la paungi. Otherwise, just looking at the solution is not going to give you good results. So please follow the directions of the video so that you can utilize it to the 100% extent. Or mera purpose hai aapke andar se DILR ka fear hatana. And for that, it's ultimately necessary for you to follow my instructions, keep a pen and paper and do the calculations all by yourself. Okay, so let's get started. सबसे पहले क्योंकि हम देख सकते हैं कि एक वैल्यू जो क्लियरली हमें दी हुई है दैट इज 1024 सो लेट्स मेक अ टेबल गाइस आई हैव जस्ट केप्ट दिस टेबल फॉर यू नो इजी कन्वीनियंस सो लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड लेट्स मेक अ क्विक टेबल ओके व्हाट आई विल डू इन दिस टेबल इज आई विल राइट द राउंड नंबर्स ओवर हियर सो लेट मी राइट द राउंड नंबर्स ओवर हियर बट बिकॉज़ आई नो द वैल्यू एट द एंड ऑफ राउंड 4 सो आई विल स्टार्ट इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर 
यानी मैं राउंड नंबर फोर से शुरू करूंगी इफ दिस इज द पर्सन ए दिस इज द पर्सन बी दिस इज द पर्सन सी एंड हियर कम्स द पर्सन डी so at the end of round 4 we know that everyone is left with 1024 rupees and that is present in the question only if you just want to have a quick look i'll just show you quickly over here that the at the end everyone was ending up with 1024 so this value is the reason for which i started my table with round 4 now when coming to round 3 i know i have to do backtracking so what is backtracking my dear friend backtracking is that if someone is saying that the one who came first will their value will get four times so backtracking mein hame use divide karna hai four se we just need to divide that value by four so let us go back and check that what happened in round 4 in round 4 technically d was the person who got the first rank that means initially that in, that is in the end of round 3 d was the person who had 1/4 of the amount he is having now so i am supposed to divide 1024 by 4 to get the value of d which will be 256 i hope you all did it on your own this is the place where i expect all of you to use your own pen and pencils and get started with the calculation so 1024 ko agar 4 se divide karte hain to we get 256 that means that means i will put a 256 at the end of round 3 for d now ab aa jaye of second rank pe in the second rank was given to c so second rank wale logo ka value double ho raha tha the value was getting doubled so now right now i will just half their value so if 1024 ka half karte hain what do we get when we do the half of this value we would get 512 so that means i can write 512 at the end of round 3 for c now the person who came third their value will remain the same so that is 1024 for b in the end of round 3 and now comes the interesting part for all of you so please pay attention over here agar aap is part ko samajh gaye then the rest of the calculation can be easily done by you now they say that the person who came last uske paas usne utna hi amount lose kiya jitna first and second rank ne gain kiya so how much did the first rank gain first rank technically gain 1024 minus 256 so if you do 1024 i'm just deliberately giving you a pause time guys because i expect you to do the calculation agar aap ye karte ho to just check if you are getting a 768 or not if you are getting a 768 that means you got the right answer for the difference between the values of d the one who came first and the values difference between c is not what you have to calculate because hame pata hai ki difference to half hi hoga kyunki c ki value to half hui hai so here the difference is 512 this is the difference of d this is the difference of c ab in dono difference ko agar main add kar deti hu that means i add 512 to this value do the calculation on your own friends and tell me if you are getting a 1280 or not if you are getting a 1280 this is the difference which got subtracted from the value of the person who came fourth the person who came fourth was a so technically at the end of round 3 a was having 1280 rupees plus 1024 rupees yahan par plus kyu kiya maine kyunki the question is asking me to subtract the value but we are doing backtracking to so, hum yahan par value add kar denge and if i add the value i get a 23 Zero four. Just check if you guys are also getting two three zero four with me. If yes, then congratulations. We are on the right track. So just a quick revision before we move to the second round, guys. So round three पर मैंने just backtracking किया जहाँ मुझे into four करना था मैंने divided by four किया जहाँ मुझे divide by two into two करना था वहाँ मैंने divide by two किया जो पर्सन थर्ड आ रहा था देयर वैल्यू वाज सपोज टू रिमेन द सेम सो आई केप्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ बी एज सेम बिकॉज बी केम थर्ड एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इन द एंड ऑफ राउंड थ्री वाज एक्चुअली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी एंड सी प्लस देयर इनिशियल वैल्यू सो दैट गिव्स मी टू थ्री जीरो फोर अगर आप इतना समझ गए तो आप टेक्निकली राउंड टू और राउंड वन खुद भी कैलकुलेट कर सकते हो तो एक बार खुद कैलकुलेट करो pause the video try it on your own and then replay to check whether my numbers and my calculation is going right or wrong okay so let's whoop down to number 3 abhi mera concentration round number 3 ke results par hai round number 3 ke results aise the ki c came first so if c came first to mujhe 512 ko 4 se divide karna hoga 
Why? Because C came first. So, जो भी first आया उसकी value divide by four. That gives me one twenty eight. So now I will use a different color for your convenience and let me write four here. Let me make it a little darker, guys, because it's not visible on the screen. I feel so. I will divide C by four and I'll get one twenty eight. That's what is the value at the end of round two. Sorry, round two over here. So if I just go back and check the second rank, second rank B ki thi. Yani ki value kya karna hai? Half karna hai. I know that one thousand twenty-four by two is five hundred twelve. So I'll write a five hundred twelve here. Sab ke matches kar gaye. Very good. Now let's go back and check the third rank. Third rank A ki rahi. To A ki value repeat kar denge. And fourth rank B ki rahi. So now I will find out the difference. Difference between what? फर्स्ट रैंक का डिफरेंस और सेकंड रैंक का डिफरेंस तो सेम ही रहेगा तो फर्स्ट रैंक किसकी थी सी की थी तो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज 512 माइनस 128 आई गिव यू अ टाइम टू डू दिस गाइस 512 माइनस 128 इज व्हाट यू ऑल हैव टू डू यू शुड गेट अ 384 ओवर हियर एंड इफ यू गेट अ 384 वेरी गुड वी गॉट द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस बट ये सिर्फ एक बंदे का डिफरेंस है सेकंड पर्सन था बी बी की वैल्यू कर दी हमने हाफ तो अगर हम 512 को इसके साथ ऐड कर देंगे सो व्हाट आर वी एक्सपेक्टिंग टू गेट We are expecting to get a 896. Now, how is this 896 going to help me? Is 896 के साथ मैं the fourth person that is D की value को add करूँगी. So if I add the value of D as 256 to this value, what do I expect? I expect a 1152. So you people should also get a 1152 at the end of round two for D. Now just like this, our attention will now shift to round. Two ka results. So if we go to round two ka results, what do we get? In the end of round two, we see that B came first. So B ki value ko kya karna hai? B ki value ko divide karna hai. Divide by four karna hai. So five hundred twelve divided by four is giving me a one twenty eight. Correct, guys. So should I write a one twenty eight here? Yes. This is round number one. Let's say this is round number one. So should I write a one twenty eight over here? Yes, because B first आया, A second आया तो A की value को half कर देना है. Now when we are doing the value of half, so two three zero four guys divided by two will give me a eleven fifty two. This calculation you should check on your own if you are getting the same value or not. Now who came third? D came third, so D की value को same रख देते हैं one one five two, and C came fourth. So हम क्या करेंगे? Subtract करेंगे और क्या करेंगे? Two three zero four हमारी किसकी वैल्यू थी ए की वैल्यू थी ए क्या था हाफ आई मीन सेकेंड तो ये वैल्यू हम ऐड करेंगे और हमारा डिफरेंस क्या हो जाएगा डिफरेंस हमारा हो जाएगा 512 माइनस वन दैट इज इक्वल टू 384 हमने ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट किया है इसीलिए मैं इसको हाईलाइट कर रही हूँ जब आप भी ये सेट कैलकुलेट करोगे सो यू विल ऑल्सो रीच अ सिचुएशन जहाँ आपकी कैलकुलेशन आपके पेपर में बनी रहेगी तो बार बार जो है हाथ चलाने की या दिमाग चलाने की जरूरत नहीं बस पेपर पे लिखा है तो वापस से यू नो पहुंचने में आसानी होगी सो थ्री हंड्रेड एटी फोर इज वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट एडेड अप विद द नंबर वन वन फाइव टू एंड इफ यू एड दीज टू नंबर अप दिस इज योर डिफरेंस विच यू विल बी गेटिंग सो क्विकली टेल मी वॉट वैल्यू आर यू गेटिंग थ्री एटी फोर प्लस वन वन फाइव टू आई होप यू ऑल आर कैलकुलेटिंग इट विथ मी दिस वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी एज मैं ऊपर लिख देती हूँ या फिर सॉरी नीचे जगह नहीं है 1536 is what I am getting if I add these values up. This value needs to be added with the initial value of C, which was 128. So, if I add 128, if I add it, then so use your pen and paper to do it, guys. I repeat it constantly every time. 1664 is my answer. Yes, your answer also. Chalo. Now, let's come to the final stage. Final stage of the calculation that initially, how much money was. इनिशियली कितना मनी था ये जानने के लिए हमें रिजल्ट्स ऑफ राउंड वन जानने होंगे एंड रिजल्ट्स ऑफ राउंड वन वर ए कमिंग फर्स्ट सो ए की वैल्यू को डिवाइड बाय टू कर दीजिए अब वन वन फाइव टू है आपके पास अगर आप इसको डिवाइड कर दोगे तो यू विल गेट अ टू एटी एट I just did that to save time. You all can take your own time. Second person was D, so D ki value half kar dijiye. Eleven fifty two ka half five seventy six hota hai. This is the place where your speed maths will really help you. Then coming back to B and C, so C came third, so C ki value same rakte hain. And B came the last 
सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंस ऑफ ए इलेवन फिफ्टी टू को आपको माइनस करना होगा किससे टू एटी एट से सो द वैल्यू विच ही गेंड वॉज एट सिक्सटी फोर एंड एट सिक्सटी फोर को हम ऐड कर देंगे हाफ ऑफ दी वैल्यू ओवर दी दैट इज सेवन फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स सो इफ आई एड फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स टू इट आई गेट अ फोर्टीन फोर्टी अब इस फोर्टीन फोर्टी को मुझे इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ बी के साथ एड करना है विच इज वन ट्वेंटी एट एंड इफ आई एड दिस अप आई गेट द वैल्यू एज फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी एट एंड देर यू गो आई हैव ऑल द नंबर्स विथ मी I repeat, I have all the numbers with me. ये initial value सबसे important है हमारे लिए And if you have it matching with mine, congratulations, you cracked the game. And if you don't get it matching, then you can see my calculation. मैंने हर step ही calculation आपको दिखाई है आप video आगे पीछे करके देख सकते हो I hope that will work. Now let's go back to the questions and check it. Who had the least amount before the game started? So before the game started, we had the least amount with A. So therefore, the answer of this question will become option one A. Question number two: At the end of which round did C have the least among all the four? So C के पास सबसे कम किस round के end में था? If you just check this column C, the least value was at the end of round two. So therefore, the answer of this question is option B, round two. What is the maximum amount that anyone had in any of the four rounds? Well, it is quite evident from our calculation. This is two three zero four with A. So person का नाम नहीं पूछा गया है, सिर्फ amount पूछा गया है. So that is again option one two three zero four. Who had the least amount at the end of round three? So check this horizontally. Round three के end पे C के पास सबसे कम value था five hundred twelve. So the answer of this question is. Oh, oh hold on hold on i think i just did not see the table correct so dekho ye galti aap se bhi ho sakti hai so you have to see the table correctly 256 is the least value guys so option d will be the right answer and like this we have completed a very challenging and doting question on dilr set so maine starting mein bhi bola tha abhi end mein bhi bol rahi hu the people who were not able to crack it your only way of reaching the solution is that you will be calculating every stuff i told you at every stage of this video if you found this video useful please hit that like button guys share it with more and more people because maine jitne bhi efforts lagaye hain wo sirf isi liye lagaye hain taki aap apne is dilr ke dar se bahar niklo it's not so terrifying as you people make it okay so keeping that in mind if you really love and want to support the channel share it with more and more people guys if you are new then please hit that subscribe button this this crash course is absolutely free so please comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this video or not and do let me know what kind of sets you want in the coming blitz brigade episodes and with this i will take your leave thank you so much acche se padhai kijiye study hard guys and whatever help you need out of me please comment below and let me know Thank you so much all the best study hard